In this video we'll show you different ways to add a door to your cabinet. So to add a door you click on the inner volume and then you can go to the modify menu and add a door here. You can also right click in the volume and add a door but we're going to go to the quick design toolbars and add a door this way. So this option on the left, type. Door types are only relevant if you've applied a quick design manufacturing method associated with one of these types. If you haven't, the type is totally irrelevant. Just leave it on the first one. Okay, so here we've got a door single selected. We'll keep that. And for mode, keep it at applied global. We'll see what that is in a moment. The fitting references where the hinge is. You can have it on either side uh, and top and bottom as well. Let's keep it on the left side and click OK to add the door. In the 3D view over here, let's open the door. We can see it opens on the left hand side. There's a dark black vertical line showing where the hinge is in cabinet editing mode over here on the left as well. I'm going to click on the door and keep the shift button down. That's a quick way to select that panel. Go over to the properties menu. Now change the fitting side to right. You can see the door is hinging from the right hand side and the dark black line is on the right now. Let's close that door. With applied global that we've got selected, the door overlaps the cabinet front. And with this option, you have a slack in depth you can alter. Now you don't tend to use this. It will actually set the door away from the cabinet. Let's just add 20 millimeters so I can show you what I mean. So there we have the door set away from the cabinet. You might put a very small slack in here, perhaps if you want to put a door stop between the front of the cabinet and the door, but it's rarely used. I'm going to click undo and go back to the properties menu. We can see here in this section, cutting list, there's a edit structure option. We'll look at that in another video. That's to add extra details to your door. And you can also change the material. If you need to change the thickness of the door, you do that by changing the thickness of the material or by choosing a completely different material. We also have a link section. This defines the relationship between the door and its adjacent panels. Let's go into top. You can see a slack here. It's at three millimeters now. Let's set it to 30 so we can see what happens. Okay, so the door slack has now increased. The door's moved down away from the top and you can do this on all sides. Back in the properties menu, we have edging you can apply as well, chamfer, hardware using the fitting link option. We look at this in other videos as well. Let's apply a different kind of door now. Click on the inner volume, go to the toolbar, and we're going to add a double door. And this time, mode built in. Let's leave the hinges as shown and click OK. So a built in door sits within the cabinet as opposed to apply global where it overlaps the front of the cabinet. I'm going to click on properties. Now we have a slacking depth again. This time, if we set it to 30 millimeters, we see it sits back further inside the cabinet. So this is a parameter you're likely to use regularly. We've also got an extra slack here. This is the slack between the two double doors. Let's put in 30 millimeters and see what it does. Let's go back into the properties. Just like with a single door, we have options here to change the structure and material but because it's a double door you have two drop downs one for each side of the double door and here with the links if we go to the top link it shows recess let's change it to a bigger amount so we can see more clearly what happens so similar to with a single door it will drop down the door away from the panel it will have the same impact if you select the link with the sides or the bottom the final door type we're going to look at is a sliding door. So let's select that here. This may be overlapping the cabinet front, but often it's going to be built in, which I'm going to select. And fitting, you can have the door sliding laterally or vertically. Let's leave it like this, top bottom, which means it slides laterally. I'm going to open the doors now and click into the properties menu. Again, we can recess, drop back the doors into the cabinet using the slack in depth. There's also an overlap option here. Let's change that to 50 and show the cabinet in wireframe. 
So we've got quite a big overlap between the two sliding doors. That's what that parameter does. Let's click undo to show you how it was before. We've got hardware in our quick design libraries all set up for a range of popular sliding door assemblies too. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.